Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pina, and I am bringing you today's word for July 16th, 2019. I'm teaching a series entitled The Power Fellowship. This is part 51 of the overall series. And the title of today's message is God is in the midst. And so I'm going to teach on uh, how God is in the midst of believers when we come together in fellowship. Yesterday, I shared a message about the fact that God is in you, right? If you're born again, God is inside of you. And while that's good, I made the point that when you come together with other believers, not only is God in you, but he's also in the midst of you or he is among you. So he is in you, but when you come together with other believers, he is among you. And that is the power of corporate fellowship. So I'm going to flow in that same vein today. I want to look at something that the Bible says, where Jesus said this in Matthew 18 and verse 20. Jesus said, yes, if two or three people or are together, believing in me, I am there with them. There is something that happens when believers come together. Uh, he says, where two or three believers come together. Another translation says, in my name, that I am there. God is in the midst, right? So God is in us, but he is also in the midst of us when we come together in fellowship. So what does this mean to you today? I've been teaching on fellowship for a while. What does this mean to you today as it relates to fellowship? I, I really do appreciate the way that God gives me the word to be able to explain it in a way that anyone can understand, to really break it down. Like my cousin says, my cousin Eddie says, man, Primo, you really break this thing down Barney style. Anybody should be able to understand this. So I really appreciate the way that God gave me what I'm about to say. So I, I ask you now to open up your heart to what God is saying. There's four things I want to share with you this morning as it relates to fellowship. Here we go. Let's get into those four things. Number one, when God flows through a human, we call it the anointing, right? So it's because to anoint means to rub on or to smear on. And the the whole you know analogy or picture of the anointing is that God gives us his spirit. And so it is the, the Holy Spirit on us that flows through us. And when God, the Holy Spirit is flowing through a human, we call it the anointing because it is the father living in us, John 14 and 10, giving us the words and performing the work. And so the individual anointing is powerful, right? And we should appreciate God for that. But there is also a corporate anointing. And I talked about that yesterday. So the power of God manifested in one person is powerful. But when believers come together with other believers, there is a corporate anointing that is available. There is a power of God that is manifested that just doesn't happen any other way. And so there's this special anointing that is reserved for this corporate setting when believers come together with other believers. That's why it is critical for believers to connect with other believers. It is the power of fellowship, and it's also critical for you to go to church. So this is one of those where I shared this yesterday. Don't let the devil trick you into thinking, well, I can watch the word on YouTube, so I'm good. I don't have to go to church. No, you, there's something that happens in the corporate setting that is never going to happen on YouTube. So you need to be in the presence of other believers, and that's what I'm talking about on today. So let me try to explain this even further. Number two, in one sense, God is everywhere. Right? So God is omnipresent. And so what this means is, let me try to explain it this way. I cannot give you, I mean, I'm a military guy, so I, I deal with grid coordinates, right? So I cannot give you a grid coordinate or a GPS location that pinpoints where God is because there is no grid coordinate or GPS location where God is not, right? So he's everywhere all at the same time. Further, if you're born again, right, then he's also living on the inside of you. So God is everywhere and he's also in me. Further, watch this now. So I took it from God is everywhere to God is in me. Further, when believers connect with other believers, then God manifests his presence in a special way. At that point, God is everywhere because he's omnipresent. God is in us individually, but then God is also amongst us in a way that is reserved for fellowship. And this latter manifestation, this piece of where God is amongst us, he is in our midst, that only happens when believers connect with other believers. So don't let the devil deceive you into thinking that you don't need an, anyone else or that you can receive from God the same way at home or all by yourself. I can worship by myself. I've heard this many times. I'm the church. I don't need anybody else. I'm the church. <laughs> Well, actually, you do need other people. And so there's something on them that you need, and there's something on you that we need. And when we come together, we lack nothing. Number three, let me further explain. God told us that when two or three believers come together, he is there with them 
in a way that he was not before they connected, right? So let me attempt to explain what I believe God is saying. Let's say that you, I'm going to just give you like an illustration. Let's say that you and your friends all decided that you're going to meet somewhere for fellowship or for worship. Let's say you guys are going to an event and you're going to worship together, right? Um, so as a group, you guys all agreed that we're going to meet at, at this church or this, this setting or whatever at this particular time. So individually, God is with you in your respective homes as you guys get ready, as you iron your clothes, as you, you know, whatever, take a shower. As you guys are separate, individually, God is with each one of you in your respective homes. And then when you guys get in, the, in your vehicles and you start driving to the event, right? At that point, God is with you in the vehicle. God is also back there at your house waiting for you to get back. God is also at the event already waiting for you to get there because God is everywhere, right? So at that point, this is his general presence. So God is in the vehicle. God is back home. God is over there waiting on you. And so that's his general presence. God is also inside of you as you drive individually, right? Inside of you, that is his indwelling presence. So we have his general presence. We have his indwelling presence. But when you all get together at the event and you guys, hey, what's up? How you doing? Give me a hug. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey. And now you all get together at the event and you connect with one another, right? And now you're there in his name. Uh-oh. And that moment, God manifests himself in a way that cannot be replicated outside of fellowship. So he was already inside of you and he was already in the building before you guys got there. But once you guys all connected, then God shows up in a special way that, that just doesn't happen any other way. This is the power of fellowship. And please don't miss out on this. You can't get this at home. You got to be in the house. You got to be in the place. You got to be with other people. This can happen in Starbucks. This can happen in your office. This can happen anywhere. I'm not just saying go to church, but I am saying go to church. But I'm just saying you got to be around other people believers because there's something that happens there that will not happen anywhere else number four and finally there's something special that happens when believers come together in fellowship it is it is special it is supernatural it is spiritual so please don't miss out on it where two or three jesus said believers are gathered in his name he, god is there he is in the midst of them in a way that he is not while you're apart so this is the power of fellowship God is with in me and with me and on me and for me. And God is on you and in you and with you and for you. And, and individually, God is with all of us. But when we all come together, boom, God is there in a way that he was not before we showed up together. And then once we leave and we go our separate ways, then God won't be there that way anymore. Now, there's his general presence. God is everywhere, but he won't be there that way because we're no longer in fellowship. Do you get it? So this is the power of fellowship. You don't want to miss out on this. You want to connect with other believers on a regular basis because there's something special. There's something supernatural that happens and it only happens in fellowship. Let's close this message out with a declaration of faith. I want you to lift up your voice. See, listen, I try to make this very simple, very plain because I'm not trying to impress anybody and I can, you know, I can teach this a different way. Uh, but unfortunately, I've heard it taught many different ways, you know, with fancy words and, and this type of thing. And then it's so complicated that nobody understands it. I'm not at the end of the day, you, you will never be impacted some, by something you don't understand. So I trust that you, you're getting this right. And the reason why I teach series is because let's be honest, you don't get it the first time. You don't get it the fifth time. You may not get it the 10th time. This is part 51 of this series. And for some of you, the light just came on, right? Like you finally got it, what I've been talking about for nine weeks, 10 weeks. All right. So anyway, let's close this message out with a declaration of faith. Lift up your voice and say this. Say, Father, I thank you for teaching me the importance of connecting with other believers. I have accepted your son, Jesus the Christ, as my Lord. I am born again. I am filled with your spirit. You live inside of me. You are in me. And you are, <coughs> excuse me, you are also everywhere. But when I connect with other believers, you manifest your presence in a way that is special. 
It cannot be replicated any other way. It is reserved for fellowship. So from this day forward, I will connect with others in a way that is intentional because I want to tap into the power of fellowship. I am blessed, but we are better together. I declare this by faith in Jesus name. Amen. This is today's word. Please apply it and prosper. If you're not getting these messages, go to todaysword.org and sign up and get the messages. They're going to be a blessing to you. If you want to subscribe to the videos, go to youtube.com forward slash Rick Pina and subscribe to our YouTube channel or subscribe to us on, on live stream. But listen, I love you and God loves you. I hope you got this message. Connect with other people in fellowship. There's something special that happens there that will not happen any other way. Now do me a favor as your brother, share this message on your social media, on your timeline and with your friends so that other people can understand the power of fellowship. Have an amazing day. God bless you.